Hello YouTubers. Once more I'm here to talk about um, the semi-automatic key. This key is a high mount uh, model. Is a, it, it's, it's, called, it's the name of the, the manufacturer. is a Japanese manufacturer. Uh, it has a dust cover. You see the dust cover is uh, in a very bad shape and still hasn't I still haven't found a, a new one uh, the, sh the, um, the lever of the key it's not the original one but instead is a copy of the original one made with a 3D printer the original one got broken when it fell once um, I don't know how long ago but uh, when it came to my hands it was already like that because uh, that happened with the previous owner this is a quite old key this uh, key um, has also some uh, parts which are not the original ones such as the, the weight uh, this screw here should hold a weight um, but it's not the original part so I had to get a new weight here uh, how does this work? This is a semi-automatic key, so this has this um, axis that can oscillate. The, this uh, metal uh, part here is a thin metal uh, sheet that it is flexible. So when you push the lever to one side, you see it, vib it vibrates. And there is an electric uh, contact here that uh, opens and closes. On the other hand, if you push uh, to the other side, you close the contact permanently. The contact is uh, here, on this side. Okay, that is why it is called semi-automatic. So, the short, um, the short uh, sound of Morse code, the so-called DITs, are generated automatically. The, the long uh, sounds or the DAS are generated manually so you have the contact permanently closed and uh, the, the operator has to control the timing so if I want to call CQ see so the time of the DA which uh, generally is three times as long as the DIT is controlled manually by the operator and the designation semi-automatic so the DAS are manually controlled the DITs are automatically controlled of course uh, if you move the weight along this axis you can variate the speed there is a, a scale here no? you can see there's uh, several numbers and um, this one means slow this is fast and uh, if I move the weight to another position you can see that is it, it will be faster see so if you move towards the edge of the axis it will become slower so this is how a semi-automatic key works it has only two contacts this is where the, um, the wires are connected and uh, so it in fact, it closes just uh, contact uh, between two wires, just like a simple vertical key. And there's a lot of adjustments here. There's some springs. You can adjust the tension of the lever, uh, the space to of the movement to uh, either side. Um, and that, so there's a lot of small adjustments that each operator can uh, adjust to, to to fit his own needs and uh, the way he feels more comfortable transmitting. So this is how this um, this works. Okay, these keys were uh, originally uh, made by a company named Vibroplex, a company made by um, or founded by the inventor of this system, which was which was uh, Mr. Uh, Horace Martin invented this system in the beginning of the 20th century around the 1902 or 1904 to develop uh, some kind of um, 
transmission uh, or manipulation uh, system that um, didn't uh, require so much physical effort from the telegraph operators which had to spend uh, long periods of time transmitting and uh, they were having some troubles with their wrists and their, and their arms because of uh, long periods of time uh, using uh, making um, effort making uh, the same movement so it was uh, it was a bit a little bit complicated it was very tiring and uh, there was some working diseases if we want to call it like that um, developed because of that so they were looking for some uh, for a way to minimize the that effort so that they could uh, transmit um, in a faster way and without such uh, so much effort of also in those days the, the the telegraph operators they received by by the the number of words they could send so if they could transmit faster they would send uh, more words in the same period of time they would earn more money okay so there was also a economic component in, in, in the creation of this uh, of this system Thank you very much for watching.